hello and welcome to my channel again so this is the continuation video of our previous video of faceplate part 1 and here we can uh, here we will discuss how to use the faceplate even more very simple and very timeless consuming method by using plc data type or you can also call it as user defined type so keep on to my video till the end don't miss the video at uh, any section so let's go so first of all we need to expand the plc data types if anybody don't know what is plc data types and how to use it then i will give the link in the description where i have already described what is the data types and how to use it and what are the perks and what are the benefits of the plc data types so let's add a new data type and rename that data type as motor i will give a name as a motor where so in earlier previous video you have seen that i have given so many tags uh, for motor 1 and motor 2 so here what we will do whatever the data required for a faceplate we will create here like fault indicator let me create very quickly later on we will discuss So at our uh, last video, we have already uh, used this uh, this much of the tags like fault indicator, running indicator, run push button, stop push button, and actual speed of the motor. So we have created a uh, created successfully a motor data type in our PLC uh, program. Now, what is the remaining thing? Instead of motor one, we have given the uh, we will delete both of the tag first. Okay, let it be let's say conveyor one we will create one more conveyor one and its data type would be instead of struct what we will do the data type will be motor we have created the motor data type here so we will choose here so you can see by expanding uh, expanding it you can see fault indicator running indicator run push button stop push button actual speed all of the things has been came so uh, now to this DOT is now local to make it global then only we will use uh, we can use the motor data type in our faceplate let me show you at library if we will op edit the data type you can see at the property window if we will add something and if you going to choose the data type then it will not show you the motor data type here why because till now we didn't uh, uh, till now we did not because till now we did not mention it as a global data type to make it global data type drag and drop into the project library and motor faceplate type Now you can see it will ask you that what is the what is your type of the motor like likewise we have created the face plate now it is it will ask for your udt also so this is asking that this udt is used at 0.0.1 .0 version so we will click on ok why it is asking because if we will change something in our DUT or plc data type also it will create a another version so make it ok so now you can see there is a mark is coming uh, some black mark is coming at your duty type and also it is being added here so let's see uh, let's see if we can see the data type in our work uh, faceplate work window also so now you can see by double click on it sorry it's not yeah by double click on it you can see motor version 0.0.1 .0 is showing right now so what we will do we will delete all the properties right now now we have deleted all of the things now add another tag 
and give it a name called faceplate tag and at the type now you need to choose motor version 0.0.1 so you can see now all of the values are showing whatever the values were in the uh, motor data type all of them are showing right now so another thing we need to add it is called as heading or headline you can say because we didn't create any data type for headlines and the data type would be string so right now what will happen at the outside of the interface uh, there will be only two type of uh, entries will be there one is heading headline and second is the faceplate tag now we will give the uh, properties like conveyor one this headline we need to give just expand the text field and at general drag and drop into the headline so now headline is being connected now what we need to do we need to do the animation for the all indicators so let's open the properties now you can see there is a error is there click on the three windows at the properties you can see faceplate tag dot halt indicator so this is done right now similarly let's give the animation for running indicator again for run events go to the event push button for run let's property and tag run push button and reset the stop push button similarly for stop set the stop push button tag and reset the run push button and at actual speed also at properties and in at actual speed also in properties general and at tag same go to the property and choose the actual speed so now you can see let's minimize them now you can see all of the tags is been connected to only single tag but inside of that you can see these are being distributed automatically okay so now we are done with our faceplate again let's drag and drop or let's release the version for now don't delete the older version let it be the uh, recent version and update it so version 0.0.5 .0 will be release now press on the start now you can see conveyor one motor is there now at screen you can see earlier there earlier there were uh, there were so many types of interfaces were there but but now we are only having one interface called as faceplate tag and one is for the uh, one is for the headline tag right so let's delete it first we will do for the faceplate one then we will go for the faceplate two now you can connect the data types at hma tag you can go to the conveyor one and hma db conveyor one and directly you can select so what will happen all of the internal tags will be directly connected to this tag right now remember both in at the both of both of the time the tag has to be same like at the faceplate whatever the data type is here the motor data type is here so that you need to keep the data type at your hmi data block also the motor data type has to be the same so now it is done let's see how fast we can add another screen a recent uh, in previous video what we are doing we are connecting five to six data types uh, but now let's drag and drop another faceplate and let's see in how many minutes or in how many seconds we can keep on so keep your st uh, stopwatch on and let's see so one two three start so added click on it rename the name and a tag as we don't have the conveyor to 
we need to first add the conveyor to HMIDB copy paste motor data type is being created minimize it at system 2 interface and let's connect the tag done so this is it so it would take less than 10 minutes if you have already uh, created the data type at your D data block then it will take less than two seconds so let's simulate it and let's see what is happening right now let's download it into the plc also open the data block and see how does it work again by clicking on start push button or the run stop push button the run push button is true the second push button is not getting true because by clicking on this this is also getting true by clicking on stop stop push button is true by clicking on motor conveyor to stop the conveyor to stop push button is showing here at actual speed also let's give some 35 hertz actual speed let's say the motor is running at 35 hertz at conveyor to also let's it is running at 30 hertz likewise we will create a fault at conveyor one then the red indicator will show we will create the fault at second then it will show the motor running it will turn into green same conveyor to motor running it will turning into green so like using the udt in faceplate it will save much more time but before the uh, method we have used in our last video so hope you like the video and if you are having any queries or doubts then please uh, put your comment on the comment box thank you